So in order to install the PyCharm, first of all, in the Google, you should simply type PyCharm download. And here you can see the first link is from JetBrains company, which is the PyCharm's company. So you can see JetBrains.com and their PyCharm product. And here is the download page. So you should click on it. And here we can see that there are different tabs. So we are Windows, so we want to use this. And also let's agree to cookies and etc. And here we can see that we have two different versions, the professional version, which is not free, and the community version, which is free. So we want to install the free, the free version, which is the community version. And also remember that if you have a 32-bit Windows, you should click on other versions and open it in a new tab. And the latest version for, for those people who have 32-bit windows is 2018.3. So the latest version which you can install is this version. But the other people which have 64-bit windows, they should download this file and you should wait for the download prompt. So we can see the download is a starting and we should wait for the download process. So as you can see, here is the file which we have downloaded. So I should right click on it and I should press run as administrator. And also here we should press next. And here is the install location of PyCharm, which is not that important. So you can choose whatever you want. So I press next. And here I don't want to check none of these, but for example, you can see you can if you want to create a desktop shortcut, you can check this. And if you want to open all the Python file with .py extension with PyCharm, you can check this one as well. But I don't want to do so, so I check none of these. And I press next. And here I should press on install in order to install the PyCharm. And I should wait for the installation process. So you can see the setup was successful. So I check this in order to run PyCharm and I press finish. And here you can see it shows this window and I don't want to import anything. So I click on this and I press OK. And here I want to create a new project. So I click on this. And this is the name of my project and this is the location of my project. So this is the name of my project. And for example, let's suppose that I want to choose this name, let's say Kulak for my project. That's it. And here I should click on this previously configured interpreter. That's it. And I want to add an interpreter. So I click on this. And also I want to add a local interpreter. So again, I click on this. And here I should click on this existing environment and I should specify an interpreter. So I click on this three dots. And if you remember in previous video, we have installed Python and we have said that this is the Python interpreter. So this is the location of my Python interpreter. So I should copy this path. So as you can see, I've installed my Python in C, users, Kulak, Python, Python 3.10.7. And this python.exe is the Python interpreter, which I should specify the path of this file in PyCharm. So let's go to PyCharm. And now I should navigate to that path, I mean the path of my interpreter. So that's it. And in this folder, we have a file called python.exe, which is the Python interpreter. So I should click on that and I should press OK. And here I press OK again. And also, I don't want to create any welcome script and etc. So I uncheck this one and I press the create button. And I should wait for these processes. And also, let's maximize PyCharm. And also, I don't want to show this anymore. So I click on this and I press don't show again. And here it suggests us to exclude directories from Windows Defender, which I want to do so. So I click on exclude directories and I want to configure all the stuff automatically. So I click on this and remember that I should wait for indexing processes. So that's it. And now let's talk about how to change the theme of PyCharm. In order to do so, we should go to file and then settings. And here you can see that we have different sections. So you can see one of these sections is appearance and behavior. And one of those sub sections is appearance. So click on this. And here we can change the theme. For example, I want to change that to this theme. And that's it. And if you want to restore that, you can do that as well. So I want to 
click on this and I should press OK. And here is how to change the theme. And in order to create Python files and start coding, so here you can see this is the name of my project. So, and also this is the name of my project. So you can see this folder, which is my project. I should right click on it and then I should click New Python File. And for example, I want to name my Python file code 01, which is totally arbitrary name. So I press enter. And here you can see this is the Python file. But as you can see, the font size is very small. So for example, if I print something, if I print five times eight, you can see it is very small. The font size is very small. So let's make it bigger. In order to do so, I go to file and then settings. And let's close this. And I want to go to the editor section. And here I want to go to the font sub section. And I want to change the font size to 29. That's it. And let's press OK. And you can see the font is now bigger. And now in order to run this code, you should right click in the middle of the editor and you should press run code 01. And remember that code 01 is the name of our code. So if the name of our code was, for example, David, then it would be run David, but it is code 01. So it says run code 01. So I click on that and you can see here is the result. So you can see that here are different tabs and one of those tabs is the run tab which this is the results from code 01. So let's minimize this tab. And maybe you ask, can we run this code by pressing this icon? Yes, of course, you can run this code by pressing this icon. But remember that when you press this icon, it is going to run the code, which you can see it has written here. So for example, if you create, so you can see here, there is only one code. So in this list, there is only one code. And for example, if I create another Python file, and for example, let's name that code 02. And here, if I go to this, you can see there isn't any code 02 in order to run. And again, if I print something, if I type something in it, so let's type, for example, 8 times 7. And if I go here, you can see that there isn't any code 02. Why? Because in this list, it is going to show the codes which have recently run. So you can see that we haven't run the code 02, so it is not in the list. So in order to run this code in the first time, you should right click on the editor and click on this. And you can see here is the result. But now you can see that in this list as well. So you can specify which code you want to run. So for example, if you want to run code one, that's it, you choose that and you press this. And here is the result. And if you want to run code two, you choose this and you should press this icon and here is the result. And you can also use the shortcut key, which is shift F10 in order to run the code, which its name is here. And also maybe you ask, where is these Python files in my computer? In order to navigate to that folder, you should right click on one of these files and then you should go to open in Explorer. So here we can see that these are the Python files which we have created in this project. So you can see in this folder, PyCharm projects, we have a project called Kulak. And here we have two Python files which we have just created. But if you want to change the font size using the control plus mouse wheel, which is my favorite, you should go to file and then settings. And here you should simply type mouse wheel in order to search for mouse wheel in the settings. And here you can see the first option is change font size with control plus mouse wheel. So you should check that and you should press OK. And now I can change the font size using control plus mouse wheel. And also you can do the same thing in different tabs in PyCharm. So if I if I use control plus mouse wheel in this tab, you can see I can change the font size as well. But now if you want to learn about how to install packages or so-called modules in Python, so we can watch this video, which is on the screen now.